Like many actors, Morgan Freeman began his career acting in daytime TV shows before moving on to some of the greatest films ever made. He obtained a role as a Spider-Man villain for the Webhead while he was a regular on the comedy series The Electric Company. A recurring sketch called Spidey's Super Stories, which featured a live-action Spider-Man actor stopping villains, was first introduced during the fourth season of The Electric Company. Spidey battles the one and only Count Dracula in the second episode, A Night at the Movies, who tries to drink someone's blood while they watch a horror film. The young Freeman, who was nearing the end of his run on the show, is in fact the vamp. For these brief Spider-Man films, there isn't a lot of web-slinging or wall-crawling to economize on effects and production expenses. Instead, most of the narrative is told through the cast's sparse gestures connected by comic book-like transitions. On the small number of settings, conversation is shown as speech bubbles. Given Freeman's appearance, it has a kitschy 70s feel and includes some Hollywood history. 